All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a realistic tar paper roof. So let's get started. Okay, in order to make a realistic tar paper roof, you're gonna need a few different things. Uh, to start off with, we're gonna need some black paper and you're gonna need some spray paint. So I'm gonna use the Napa Gray that I use on castings. I'm also gonna use this Krylon color, uh, the gray ultra flat and deep gray matte finish. All right, so we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to spray uh, these colors onto this paper to create realistic tar paper. So we'll be right back. All right, so when you're using spray paints, you wanna make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and make sure you use some protection for your lungs, such as a respirator, but we're gonna get started. So the first thing you wanna do is put your coat of regular Napa Gray on and I'll show you how to put it on. Then you can move on to the next color, which, which if you want to use your deep gray or gray is fine, whichever direction you want to go. And then finally your last color. And that's it. We're going to let this dry and then we'll cut it out. All right, so we're back at the workbench, and one of the things I wanted to go over is the painting end of it. Now, the paint here is a Krylon, and the other one is the uh, Napa. You can get any gray you want from anywhere you want. You don't have to buy this name brand. So if you can't find this exact color, it's not a big deal. Just as long as you have some type of gray um, primer, uh, automotive primer. Now, I use three different shades of it. You can use as many or as little as you want. So this is just how I do it. But one of the things I want to also go over is when you're painting this, you're not gonna make this paint wet. You're gonna mist it on. So if you noticed in the video how fast I was moving the can, um, I'm doubling the distance that I normally would spray uh, a, you know, a rattle can. And one of the things that you have to realize is that you cannot control the pressure and you cannot control the volume um, that comes out of the can. But what you can control is the distance and that gives you the nice uh, dry surface to work with all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these strips out of the uh for the uh, tar paper roof now i'm cutting these out at a three scale three feet ho scale three feet so this is the size that you want all right so i'm going to put the camera in the uh in the tripod and i'm going to get to work and start cutting my uh, roof strips out now the um the roof card is already made and what i did is i put on the uh, transfer tape and of course i have my trusty transfer tape here and i will put a link in the description so you know where to get this from all right so give me a minute i'll be right back all right so um when you start cutting your strips out just all you have to do is measure one side just make a little mark on where three feet is on the bottom and also on the top and then we're going to put our scale ruler and make sure you have a new blade because otherwise you're going to mess up your roofing and that's it all right so i'm going to cut the rest of these and we'll be right back all right so all the pieces are cut and ready to go and what we got to do now is take our transfer tape peel it back expose the sticky side well actually there's two sticky sides to this stuff but we're going to peel back this film I want to make sure that it all comes up. All 
Now what I did with this roof is I put a little bit of paint on there so it wasn't uh, it wasn't brown. I just wanted to get it somewhat weathered before I put the uh, the roofing on. All right, so this is going to be a roof for a factory. So we're not going to have any type of overhang for the for the uh, tar paper roof. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up on the edge. And we're going to place the piece on there. Try to get it as even as you can. Now I cut these a little bit on the longer side, so it's not a big deal if it's not 100% because I can trim it. But I want to make sure that... Okay, so that's that first piece is on. Now, what I like to do, whenever possible, is to put smaller pieces on here as well. And I'll explain why. All right, sorry about that. So, um, as you can tell, I cut one piece. And then what I'm going to do is now add... And I'm going to add the piece that I cut off of it back on it. And the purpose of this whole thing is to make sure that this has some type of seam. All right. Good. And then if you want, you can actually take another regular piece and just lay it in there without a seam. But the whole idea is you want to put some type of variety on here on your roof. You don't want to have no seams. We don't have some seams on here. And when you're doing a roof like this for a factory, you want to make sure that you don't have any type of overlap on top. But you want to make sure that you have the seams randomly put on here. So I'll put another one over here. So I'll take a peek at that. All right, so I'm going to continue on, and then we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so I got all the tar paper on, and I trimmed the, both sides of it. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to draw in our little uh, sealer lines, I guess you want to call it, the tar paper sealer. So for, what I'm going to use for that is a Paper Mate medium uh, little marker here. So we're going to do very fine lines. They do not have to be perfectly straight. Because if I remember correctly, most of this is not perfectly straight on a rooftop. Especially when they put the seam sealer on the uh, on the tar paper. But we're going to weather this again. So this black um, marker is going to be toned down quite a bit. I'm going to show you that step in just a second. So I'm just following the line that is in between both pieces of uh, tar paper. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so next step is we're going to start the weathering process. So this is going to be probably around four steps before we get the uh, desired achieved look.
that we want. So um, what I'm going to do is I have this piece of scouring pad. And what I'm, gonna, I'm lightly going to go over the entire roof. And you can see what's happening. It's totally changing color because we're actually sanding the primer. So we're going to sand in one direction. Right back for the next step. All right, before I go on to this piece here, I want to I want to show you something else. Um, if we're working on a building that's a uh, roof that's not flat, and you have a pitched roof, but you're putting tar paper on it, what you're going to want to do is I'm going to show you just a little trick you can try. Is you want to draw some lines on your roof card before installing it. And definitely before you start installing your uh, tar paper. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay. And let's put some transfer tape on it. Because uh, when you're putting tar paper on a pitched roof versus a flat roof, it goes on just a little bit differently. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So we're going to get all this um, transfer tape out of the way. Make sure it's on there good. We're going to peel it back. Okay. So now we have our, our roof card with some lines on it. And what we want to do is we want to put our tar paper on. Now, when we put on a tar paper on a roof like this, on a pitched roof, oop, there we go, um, you're going to want to have the tar paper overhang the front about a 30 seconds of an inch and also on the sides. So you're going to want to have a little bit of overhang. But the reason why I put the lines there is you're going to use the lines to help you keep the tar paper straight. Okay. So just to show you, you're going to want that much overhang. Maybe you can do a little bit more. But when you do it, uh, a one, one thirty seconds overhang on the edge, you're going to also want to overlap the next piece of tar paper as well. Okay, I messed that piece up, but... Again, this is just for illustration purposes. So you're going to want to have this piece, this piece is going to overlap this piece, this piece is going to overlap this piece, and so on and so forth. And you're going to use the same concept where you're going to have a seam maybe here or a seam here. So you're going to want to add different pieces in here. But you want to make sure that you overlap it and then draw your lines because it will, it will help you keep your, uh, your pieces somewhat straight. All right? Again, remember, you want a uh, 1 32nd uh, overhang here, and then you're going to want one on the sides. And the reason for that is when, after you get done, you're just going to want to fold, fold the roof down over that. All right? So that's, that's the only difference between a pitched roof and also um, the flat roof. We're using the same material. So we're going to go back to this piece now. So let me just get set up with my weathering powder. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so the next step is going to be, we're going to put some weathering powders on the roof itself. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash it with 91% alcohol, and we're gonna repeat that step three times. So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to work the powders right into the into the roof. I'm mixing in black. Maybe a little bit of dust bowl brown. And that's just going to give a nice texture and a nice color to the roof. Now we're going to take our our alcohol Now when you use the alcohol some of the powders will get dissolved but some will stay behind and then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this process like I said 3 times and this will give a nice buildup and a nice weathered look. So we're going to let this dry and it will be right back. Okay, so this is what the roof looks like after two applications of the powders and the alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more application and then I'll show you the result. But you can see how, how different the roof looks like now. And if you think about it, think about how many colors are on this piece. You have the three different shades of primer. You're going to have the uh, the powders. I have about four or five different color powders I'm using. And then when you use the alcohol to blend it all together, you're getting that much more of a color variation. So I, I'm really happy with the result. And we're going to do, but we're going to do one more application, and then we're going to see the finished product. So we'll be right back. I figured I'd show you what, what it looks like to put the treatment on. I mean, I look at all this powder I have on here right now, and I'm basically, I'm just pounding the powders and pigments into this piece. And I'm working four different colors here. And you can see they're blending all together. And basically I'm just doing is I'm doing a nice stippling technique. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so this is after the uh, the third treatment. And once it dried, I took a, a scouring pad and I went over the uh, top of the roof and I just tried to dull it up a little bit more. So right now this piece is done and it's ready to be installed onto the structure. Now, once this is installed on the structure, I'm going to add just a little bit more weathering to it. But other than that, this piece is ready to, uh, ready to go. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh tutorial on uh, tar paper roofs. Uh, I hope you tr give this uh, technique a try. If you can, give me a like on this video, a uh, thumbs up, and leave a comment. If you're not already, please subscribe, and I'll see you at the next how-to. Thanks for watching.